Hey guys, Ollie here. And I'm back with another video. Now I'm starting this video in a different spot. I usually start it on the field, but you know, I am out in the stable yard today. I'm, well, I'm just walking up to go and see the sheep. But uh, yeah, it's the horse, one of the horses in there, or ponies, I should say, eating their dinner. So yeah, I'm just, well, we just gave them some food, and now it's time. You go and check the other ladies. I had a question that someone sent me. I will mention it when I get out into the field um, in a second. Kate just always has his trouble with. No. Back in a second, guys. That's right, I just had a bit of a problem with the uh, gate there. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Not much has really happened on here, really. Um, but, uh, yeah, have to be careful not to uh, fall down that hole. So yeah, um, some lovely person um, named Hannah. She uh, gave me a uh, question, not on YouTube, she gave it to me through something else. Um, she asked me what my favourite season was and why. And my favourite season is spring, and the reason why... It's because of lambs. I, when I when I see lambs, I think of spring. Spring it starts when I see lambs. So yeah, how are you guys doing? Yeah, you guys doing all right? Yeah. Obviously that one's expecting a lamb. That one isn't because she's quite an old ewe and stuff like that. But yeah, so spring is my favourite season. It's also the time when like, the flowers start coming out and uh, all like the other baby animals and other things. So yeah, and it starts... I don't say it gets... It starts getting a little bit warmer because obviously spring's close to summer. So yeah, so spring is my favourite season. What's your guys' favourite se seasons? I want you to leave in the comments below and why. Um, so yeah. It's been quite a uh, chilly again week, a bit wet as well. Um, obviously, we're uh, sort of back in a uh, lockdown again, so, you know, sort of restrictions what you can do, but to me that doesn't matter. I mean, I work in another retail place, I work in a garden centre as well, so, you know, it. Um, so that's why some days I'm off and sometimes I'm working at the moment um, but yeah anyway enough of my ugly mug let's get back out and see where the sheep are oh god cold out here that my hands are falling off because they're cold Ooh. Um. so yeah it won't be that long and now will be started end of February March time usually um, which you can't wait, which is an exciting experience. The one thing we don't do, which I don't know why we don't do, is scan the sheep, but we don't tend to do it. I mean, I will do it eventually, you know, when I um, do my stuff, I, I will eventually, uh, I will scan them. Because it's always nice to see what, how many lambs each of them are having and you know, stuff like that. But yeah, they seem all all, all all right. None on their backs. When the reason the sheep goes on their backs is because obviously they're sleeping and then they try and roll and then they get stuck. It's called, it's called cars. So if, if any of you are ever out in the thing 
out walking and you say walk for a field or whatever if you see a sheep on their back please please turn them over because it can kill them when they're on their back especially this time of year when they start you know especially when it gets closer to lambing and they get stuck on their back oh there's a pheasant over there but yeah hey girls are you all right i wish i was there and they had wool on them it's colder up here than it is anywhere else around the farm. Jesus Christ. To keep swapping hands. Yeah, they don't know if you can see it. The pheasant's just literally there. Where did he go? Oh, he's in the... Oh, that bush just there. Literally. See him there. Yeah, um... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing much really happened in that with the sheep. Obviously, we've taken the rattle off the ram now. Um, because, obviously, he's done his time now marking the ewes. Um, but, yeah. Soon we'll, obviously, be giving them their injections close to the lambing and giving them their extra feeds to help build the nutrients and the, nutrients and the pro protein they need to have the lambs. And then we'll be bringing them in. And then we'll be hearing the noise of little sheep or little lambs making noises. And then seeing them running around the field. And then it will come to decide what we're going to do with them after that. But we'll sort that out when it gets closer to it. Uh, so yeah. They all seem okay. I think there's nothing wrong with them. I think the trough looks all right. Yep. Yeah. I only check the fence every once in a while, guys, because um, and it doesn't always need to be checked every day. Plus. My granddad who it's out he also he checks it as well when he comes up. But like days like this is like days I check it saves him coming out. Um but yeah, so I think that's really it. There's nothing else I need to say. Um I'll possibly do a video tomorrow. We'll wait and see. Um but yeah, I also noticed that my recent video got 143 views. Thank you to all the people who have been watching my videos. Um Hopefully this year we'll get more subscribers and more videos as better videos come. Um, but yeah, well, that's it. That's really it at the moment. Um, don't forget to give a big like on this video. Leave any comments down below. Um, and also, also comment what your favourite season is. Um, st stay safe, guys. And uh, leave questions as well. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.